Okay, I will show you a little bit here about how I do my templates. Uh, if you go to templates in PlanSwift, um, you'll see I've got some here that I use for framing. Uh, I'll, I'll make a new one. I'll start off with a, a linear and uh, let's call this 2 by 4 by 8 foot SYP number 2 studs. And then the way I do it is I go in here on this takeoff, I'm going to um, adjust this so I can get my. Yeah, this is going to be better. Okay, so to get 16 on center, let's do this um, times 12. Now we're going to divide it by 16. And that'll get our 16 on center. However, I'm going to need uh, more than just that because every door, every place that the wall meets, every corner, you're going to have extra studs. So I'm going to add... Then I gotta do brackets here. Then you do the square bracket. I'm gonna put point count. Square bracket times. Alright, so every every corner we're gonna have three studs. So we're going to do times three there. And then we will bracket that in. And then we're going to want to round it up the whole thing. All right. So we'll click on OK. And that will give us that portion of it. Click OK. So now we have this portion. Now we're going to have plates in this in this wall. And you can do the same thing with um, metal stud too. So I'm going to add a sub item to this wall, and we'll say two by four by twelve foot. plates. Alright, so for the bottom plate is going to be just uh, the one plate. So I'll go in my advanced here and I'm going to take my linear total and I'm going to multiply that times, this is for the top plates, times 2, then I'm going to divide by 12 feet each, and then I'm going to round that up, all right, and then I can put in here each, to remind me that that's an each count, and then OK. Uh, actually, let me check this one. Yeah, see, I, I didn't change that there. That should be each. Okay. So, that's the top plates. I guess I could name that top plates. Because if I'm on concrete, I'm going to have 
pressure treated plates on the bottom. Okay, so then highlight this item again and we're going to do our bottom plates as a sub item. Two by four by twelve bottom plates. And you can adjust these however you like, whatever formats that you use. Same thing here, I'm going to take my linear total and I'm just going to divide it by 12 and round up. Put in my each. Okay, now we're set to go. Now I'll show you how how that works out. If I grab see, over in here, you can adjust this. There's different. Uh, you can make different folders, like one for framing, one for sheetrock, whatever. I've got my templates. So now I'm grab this and let me make this a folder for framing click OK so now I can go around My walls like that so then when I go to my estimating tab which is where I export out to Excel I have a, a folder framing I've got my studs 48 studs I've got my top plates there's four top plates and two bottom plates and I can rename this if this needs to be pressure treated. I can put in pressure treated, whatever. So that's just a simple way to make some assemblies that I have found in Plan Sweat. Hope that helps.